You probably heard of the Pydantic library or feature of the Python programming language. Langchain has pretty extensive support for this. This is a way to introduce validation and just some general structure and guidelines around objects that you define in the Python programming language. So we're going to see how we can use these together, that you can use Pydantic to to really define what the, what the overall structure of objects coming back from the large language model should actually look like. So here you can see we have the OpenAI API key, and this is, you either define that as an environmental variable, I assume you're using OpenAI, but you can certainly use others if you would like to, because Langchain does give you the concept of these LLM drivers that here we're just using the OpenAI one. And OpenAI does require you to have an authentication key, which I have defined over in my secrets here in Google Colab. So here is some of the, so Pedantic is a data validation and settings management library used in Python through type annotations. It is useful for our data validation it has support for certain editors that'll recognize code that is marked up with pedantic annotations. And then it's got error handling and settings management. If you wanna use this with settings files, that's what I've used it for fairly extensively. And it's extensible. You can extend it beyond just what you have. And it integrates with a lot of other libraries like Langchain. So here we're going to look at a simple example that makes use of the pedantic features of Python in conjunction with the pedantic library and Langchain. So here we can see we're importing the pedantic, pedantic parser and we are, that way the output is going to be parsed from that. We're using the GPT-40 Mini. You can change that to other models that are supported by OpenAI. Or if you don't want to use OpenAI, you would, you would change this bit of code here, but the rest should work entirely correctly. And here we're going to tell it to give us a joke. And we are going to create the, create the joke. At, we're extending the base model. And the two methods that are defined in for Pydantic are the setup. So what is, what is the setup? That is the question that sets up a joke. And then the punchline, which is the answer to resolve the joke. And then just to validate that these are correct, we go ahead and we create a question ends with question mark. And then we set, we mention that this is the validator setup. All that we do there is we make sure that the setup does in fact end with a question mark. If not, then I don't know what you're trying to do as far as a question be, or as far as a joke because they usually, in this case, start with a question. Tell me a joke about cats is what I'm going to do. And it tells you why was the cat sitting on the computer? Because it wanted to keep an eye on the mouse. Very, lots of jokes and setups between cats and mice, certainly, and certainly the computer, sort of a mouse. Except I need that. <laughs> so, we, uh, we can then see that the cat was sitting by the computer there. If it would have not been a question mark, it would have thrown an error, because it would say that that was not a properly formatted setup line. Then we're going to set up a class for actors and it and actresses. The name is going to be a field as is the uh, film name. So the films that they start in is also going to be a list of strings taking fields and it gives some clue to the large language model how to get those values. Validation, um, it tells it really must contain at least two words. I just sort of put that in there. Each word must start with a capital letter. So those seem reasonable. Generate the filmography of a random actor. It does that and it chooses Tom Hanks. 
and then it gives you a list of their films. So this is a way that you can define the object that is holding the list of films and then also the validation for it. Thank you for watching this video and if it's useful please give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and subscribing to the channel allows you to see all the many AI projects that I work on.